But uh, there is a, a little bit of good news to to uh, as the final story for um, for the day, uh, it, and uh, and that is that a federal court, I believe it's the Ninth Circuit, a federal court has said that uh, what the NSA did, what Edward Stone revealed that the NSA did, the the illegal data collection and spying on the American people was in fact illegal. So what they did was a crime. And the NSA has come out and, you know, said things like, "Well, we're not we're not doing that anymore." So it's so we're fine. Everything is okay. We're not really doing that anymore. And it's like, "Oh, yeah, but you've just kind of switched over to doing a bunch of other crazy fucking warrantless wiretapping bullshit." You know, and and also like when criminals say that sort of stuff, when people that, you know, are convicted of certain crimes and they're and it's like ten years later that they that they get caught and it's just like, yeah, I'm not doing that stuff anymore. They still go to prison. They still have to go to prison for what what they did ten years ago. So, uh, you know, I I feel like the NSA should be penalized for for that, especially now that a court is saying that what they're doing is illegal. And big and the bigger thing too, I think we should notify. Notify? Ah, this fucking medication. Uh, the bigger thing I think we should take note of is uh, that Edward Snowden does not need to be exiled in Russia anymore. And I'm, I, you know, I'm I'm going to release a video about this next week about how the Obama administration. Uh, did did exile and attack whistleblowers uh, because they did. They were the administration that used the Espionage Act uh, to persecute whistleblowers more than any other administration. And you know, I, um, I I pointed out one of the one of the main things I pointed out was uh, Obama's Attorney General Eric Holder basically said that no, he wouldn't get a fair trial. He would get a sentencing trial. So if he came to the United States, he would just get a sentencing trial. So that's one. The other thing, the other thing to take note of is the fact that um, they canceled his passport because they knew where he was going. Like, they could track where he was going. And in order for him to, like, get into a place where he wouldn't be fucked with, he had to go through Moscow. And the second he landed in Moscow, they canceled his passport. The Obama administration canceled his passport, uh, which sucks, right? That, 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 that really fucking blows. And then it, and then they exiled him. They exiled him in Russia. So, so he's not in Russia cause he wants to be in Russia, right? Like his life isn't fucking super awesome. Like ice cream and daisies and sunshine all the time. Like it's, it's difficult. And he had to go through some difficult things uh, to get where he is. To, to even, like, have an apartment that he could, like, work off of and give talks to and write his book and all that. So I think, one, I think the Obama administration owes uh, Edward Snowden and Assange and... Chelsea Manning, um, an apology, which fucking Obama's not going to do because Obama's big thing is to squash dissent. That's what he does. Ob- Obama, Obama get, gets rid of dissent. He's not, he's not a champion of the people. He's not a champion of, you know, like he's not the hope and change. He, he is more of the same. He is what Joe Biden is proposing uh, you know, his administration will be, uh, it's just more of the same. So, you know, with, 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 with that in mind, I think Obama owes him an apology for sure, which he won't get. Uh, and I think he should be allowed to come home without a trial, without a sentence, without any of that shit.
I think Edward Snowden deserves to come home at this point. And the other thing, too, that I think we should um, take into consideration is if, if a court rules that what Edward Snowden revealed uh, was, you know, the, the, the crimes he revealed were actually crimes. Let's put it that way. Because when I first read it, I was just like, "Wait, did they? Are they saying that his his whistleblowing is illegal? I don't I don't understand what the fuck there's." But what, once I read the article, I was like, "Oh, this makes a lot more sense." Uh, you know, so once we get to that, how, what else? What else can they say? A federal court can decide is illegal. What Chelsea Manning revealed, I mean. She revealed a war crime. Julian Assange published it. A federal court could decide that's illegal. And realistically, what's the difference between what the NSA was doing and what was revealed in Vault Vault 7? Uh, For those of you not in the know of what Vault 7 is, Vault 7 basically is... uh, It revealed that uh, that the CIA was using... um, smart technology to to spy on people basically and that was a revelation that WikiLeaks revealed to the people and you know the, the, the question has to be asked what's the difference between those two things right if if uh, if one is illegal why not the other one why not the other one um, I think that's that's a fair thing to ask, and and if a federal court decides that, uh, again, then you know this this whole extradition trial that Julian Assange has been going through for the last um, year and a half now, because that's how long it's been. It's been a year and a half. Uh, would would basically be counted as bullshit. Um, the, the U.S.-U.K. extradition treaty wouldn't really apply because he didn't really do anything illegal. He did his job. I mean, he still did his job, right? Like, that's what publishers and journalists are supposed to do, is they're supposed to, like, reveal information about things that we need to know about and, you know, generally start a conversation surrounding it. And then... You know, the other thing is, like, people are, people will say, like, oh, it's state secrets. Like, oh, he's revealing state secrets, state secrets. And it's just like, wait, so war crimes are now state secrets? Shouldn't, shouldn't, I mean, shouldn't you know whether your country is doing the right thing or not? And I feel like killing civilians and journalists is 100% not doing the right thing. Like, for sure not doing the right thing. So this is a big, I mean, this is a big thing that, you know, was, uh, was decided upon by the courts that, that the NSA illegally spied on people and that it is a crime. What they did was illegal and Edward Snowden revealing it was the right thing to do. So let's, let's see where this goes. I I do hope that. I don't think he'll get an apology from Obama, right? Uh, which I think he should, uh, but he won't. Uh, Obama's kind of a smug jackass now. Like he's telling NBA players to be like, "Play the game. Don't don't go on strike. Don't don't stand up for things. Come on." You got to, he basically did what that one Laura Ingram uh, dribbled a ball or whatever. Whatever she, I can't remember exactly what she said. Uh, but she basically, like, was telling, talking about how, like, athletes shouldn't get involved in politics or activism or anything like that. Uh, and I feel like that, I feel like that was Obama's version when he talked to LeBron and was just like, just, uh, you know, play the games. Don't, uh, don't do this activism stuff. You're, you're getting in the way. The new liberal agenda must live on forever. It'll kill everybody else, but it'll live on forever. Play, play, go play the game. Go play the game. Just like last year, he basically told people that were too woke and cancel culture to to stop and, you know, 
let let it, let the people do their work. And it's just like, no, because when we let the bankers do their thing, they kind of fuck people over. They they kind of create the biggest recession and a immense eviction epidemic in the middle of a global pandemic. That's kind of what they do. So I don't think I'll, I'm you know I'm I'm not expecting anything from Obama, but. Uh, I think he should no longer be in exile. I think they should effectively figure out a way to get him home. And not commute, and not do a fucking commute. I'm, I'm saying total fucking pardon. And here's the thing, if you, if you really want, I mean, if Trump is smart, it's questionable. But, but if, but I mean, if he's really paying attention, like he did tweet out, like he doesn't really know much about the Snowden situation, which is just like, what, how do you not, what the fuck you talking about, bro? But, uh, yeah, if, um, if he's smart, he'll pardon Edward Snowden. If he's smart. Because that will be a huge beacon to the progressive side. That actually, despite a lot of things, um, might get him some some lefty votes. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I will, because I know the rest of his shit, and I know that if he does, it'll it'll kind of be a a ploy to to win votes, not because he actually uh, wants to do it. But there might be some lefties that that'll be the that'll be the pass, you know. They're they're sitting on the fence, and they're unsure about what to do, and then Trump pardons Snowden, and Bing Bang Boom. Now you have a bunch of lefties that that you know that that, that don't vote Democratic, that, that vote Republican, because the Republicans would have, in an essence, outlefted the fucking Democrats. So, so let's let's see where that goes. It's an interesting turn of events. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this uh, and you enjoy any of my content, please make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you hit that share button. Uh, and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel on whatever platform you're listening to. If you're listening to the audio version, if you're listening to the video version on YouTube, Facebook, or Rockfin, um, uh, especially if you're on Rockfin and you're tired of YouTube uh, with its ads and the censorship and everything, go to rockfin.com slash krishmohanhaha and you, and you basically get all my videos. <clears throat> the, it's on a freemium model. And they help uh, content creators get uh, get paid for their work. Uh, you can find everything that I do, including my live virtual stand-up comedy show dates, on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Thank you so much.